In our health alert tonight, a panel of experts have listed off the top five most addictive substances in the world, and several of these substances are actually legal. So what are they and how can they affect your life? Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenani, joins us now with those answers. Doctor? Alan, the list was created by chemists, psychiatrists, and pharmacologists. Of the top five addictive drugs, they rank the first on their list as heroin. Now, animal research has shown that this opiate can increase dopamine levels in the brain by a whopping 200%. Heroin use has risen sharply here in the U.S. and unfortunately, so has heroin-related deaths. Now, next on the list is cocaine. This drug also affects dopamine levels by preventing the brain from turning off the signal. And animal research found that cocaine can raise levels to more than three times the normal rate. Third on the list is nicotine. It's found naturally in tobacco, as we know. And here in the U.S., more folks are addicted to nicotine than any other drug, which is unfortunate because tobacco smoke has, guess what, over 7,000 chemicals, and roughly 70 of them can cause cancer. Number four on the list are barbiturates, otherwise known as downers. Now, this class of drugs can cause euphoria, and high doses can suppress breathing, which can be deadly. And the last drug surprises everyone, and that's alcohol. Animal research has shown that alcohol can raise dopamine levels in the brain anywhere between 40 and 360 percent. And the more that folks drank, the higher the dopamine levels. So, not great news there. All right, so Dr. Nandy, it sounds like dopamine is to blame for most of these addictions. Is that true? That's absolutely true, Amira. And dopamine is certainly the brain's, brain's pleasure chemical, and the drug addiction is very complex, however. So I have some prescriptions uh, to share to help with these addictions. First, get help for mental health concerns like depression, anxiety, or PTSD, because drug abuse often goes hand in hand with these disorders, as many, you know, many use drugs as a way to cope. Secondly, learn how to handle the pressures of life. Please don't use drugs as a way to unwind or ease stress. There are many other ways. It's best also to avoid all illicit drugs and be careful not to misuse or abuse prescription drugs, a really important cause of abuse. And lastly, if you have teenagers, please, please talk to them openly and honestly about drugs. Communication is essentially when it comes to prevention. All right, Doc, as always, we thank you so much with that important information. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.